Welcome fellow adventurer and dungeon master to a new edition of Character Concept for You, where I create level 1 characters for you to use as either heroes or NPCs. Feel free to change them in any way you like or create your own hero with the build you see before you. My name is Model42 and today I want to tell you about Let's Go, the first kit soon on this channel and also a barbarian with a really sweet persona and great potential for destruction. The unique looking its co has a class DC of 16, which is not maxed, but that will not impede her power at all. Speaking of power, despite her soft and thin frame she is very strong, not that quick to react, healthy and fit, quite smart and inventive, not very perceptive, and also a beautiful pale beauty with a sweet persona. She is very good in athletics and also talented in deception, diplomacy, intimidation, kitsune law, academia law, legal law, performance, and society, with the rest being okay or not helpful at all. She has mixed saving throws with fortitude being really good, will being average and her reflexes being basic, though her perception is at least very well trained and aided by low light vision. She moves with 25 feet, has a pretty big health pool of 22 hit points and speaks three languages fluently. Common, her mother tongue Tian, and Osirianyi where she spent a few years of her life. She has a basic armor class of 13 when not wearing armor, with her chain shirt, that is webbed between her kimono and underwear, she has at least a decent 15, being able to wield most weapons, she can use a dagger if needed, but will in most cases use her katana, wielding it with two hands most of the time for more damage. As a kitsune, she gains low light vision to see normally in dim light as well as the change shape action, which we look at in a few moments. As her heritage we chose Dark Fields Kitsune, which allows her to demoralize targets with her presence only, which means it loses the auditory tray, also losing the language barrier penalty because of that, and gains the visual tray. Also she gains the reaction, Invigorating Fear, which we look later on, and her change shape only switches between the form you see on screen, and a small fox, like with the level 1 pest form, only that she can stay in both forms as long as she wishes. As her first ancestry feat we chose Kitsune Law, giving her three trained proficiencies, which is always a good thing if nothing else fits your build or idea. Because we chose the background of a teacher, she gains the experienced professional skill feat, which is actually very good for downtime, whenever she uses one of her law skills to earn income. For example by teaching academia, her critical fails become fails instead and whenever she fails, she gains double the money, which is almost as good as a success. She gains the rage ability because of her class as barbarian and we will look at that, as well as the first class feat, sudden charge, in a moment. We have to talk about her instinct though, which in this case is the silver dragon instinct, which means she is not allowed to let personal insults slide and also respects those dragons very highly and will not hurt them. Doing any of those two means she loses her rage powers and has to spend a whole day, 24 hours, to get in sync with her feelings again. The benefit, aside from getting stronger and stronger over the course of the game, is that during the rage she deals 4 additional cold damage instead of the 2 additional weapon type damage. The still will be hard however if you're using an agile or unarmed weapon. All in all, this sounds really cool and strong already and a decent critical hit in her rage can actually one-shot many enemies of her level or lower. Change shape allows her to switch between her two permanent forms for a single action. Being in her fox form counts as impersonate for deception attempts, since her humanoid form is the true form. This ability will be more complex if you would have natural weapons and your form would be a tailless humanoid. Draconic rage can only be activated with a single action if she is not fatigued, or already raging and gives her temporary hit points equal to her level plus constitution modifier. All her melee attacks deal for additional cold damage, or two if attacking with agile or unarmed weapon. She gains a minus one penalty to armor class and cannot use concentrate actions, except ones with the rage tray and the seek action. This will either be active one minute, or until there are no more enemies perceived or its co falls unconscious. 
With two actions she can make a sudden charge, which can only be done once per turn and only as the first action during that turn, and allows her to stride twice and do a melee attack if her movement ends in melee reach of an enemy. Awesome action economy. As a Dark Fields kit soon she has the reaction, Invigorating Fear, which she can only do when a creature, even a friendly one, in 60 feet range gets the frightened condition. If this happens, Esco gains temporary hit points equal to the level of the creature or three, whichever one is higher. However, this can only be done once per hour, though in a boss fight, especially on higher levels, this can be really neat. Our Kitsune Lady is quite strong and can carry a bulk of 8 without penalty and up to 13 max, at the moment only carrying around 3 bulk and 2 light. She has 20 copper and 5 silver coins in her purse, which means she needs work quickly. She has equipped a chain shirt, which is worn between her fine black kimono and golden underwear, and also has a katana and a dagger at the ready. The katana is an uncommon weapon, so you need your DM's permission. Though since she is from Tian, where those weapons are forged, it should be okay. Furthermore she carries a backpack, bedroll, belt pouch, two sets of caltrips, flint and steel, rations for a week, two sheaths for her katana and dagger, two pieces of soap, a signal whistle to alert guards in cities, a torch, water skin, writing set with one instance of extra paper and ink, an ordinary brown night shirt, brown traveling clothes, black winter furs, and a fine red kimono which she wears to court or when festivities are happening. Before we look at her personality, a few stats and facts as usual. Etsuko is a kitsune, which is an uncommon ancestry and you have to ask your DM if she allows it, and has the heritage Dark Fields kitsune, giving her the traits kitsune and humanoid. She was a teacher in her past and is a barbarian of medium size who prays to the laughing god, Kafusuchi, who is also a patron of knowledge in Tian. She is chaotic good, meaning she helps others if she can and will not be restricted by norms and laws. When it comes to her methods, she is of Anjan ethnicity, born in Tomari which was a small fishing town in Tian. She is a woman of 29 years and likes to be called sensei by her pupils and friends as well. She is 1 meter and 61 centimeters tall, or 5 feet 3 inches, and her slim frame weighs 42 kilograms, or 93 pounds. As are most of my characters, she is bisexual, being attracted by whomever she finds attractive, though you can make her whatever you want her to be. For her personality I chose 3 points from Kitsune, 3 from Barbarian and added 4 of my own. Esko has the habit of studying other people around her, learning their gestures and ways of doing things to blend in better, though she also is very delighted by most jokes, word plays and pranks and will laugh with joy for big bad evil guy explains his overly complex plan to them in a monologue, admiring his creativity. Now that would be a funny scene, wouldn't it? Because Kitsune are very fluent and unique in their ways of behaving, she also faces each situation with a different approach, often in a way that is quite irritating though learning from the reactions of others. She has a deep-seated hatred for abominations, since weird and strange monsters from the depths or the stars, she is not sure, destroyed her village and murdered her parents and younger sister. Because of that she chose to become as strong as she can be and bring justice by channeling the hate, which is why her hair turned silver early on, being brown before, like her fox form, and fights those types of monsters with all her fury, which is the reason she keeps being physically active to stay strong, either by swimming, running or sword training. Once a teacher always a teacher is her motto, since she can usually be seen with young children, teaching them morals and short lessons with parables and sometimes even tricks obviously enjoying every second of it. She also tries to calm crying children who obviously are alone, remembering the days when her younger sister was scared or sad, giving a hint that she truly has a wonderful motherly heart in her body. Helping her with that is her really soft voice, whose pronunciation with a strong Tian accent is as pretty as a cherry blossom leaf floating in the wind, yet, in the blink of a second she can turn those words into a song of scary murder and hatred if needed, usually done by posing at the beginning of combat in a victorious way, showing her comrades and enemies that she already knows this conflict to be over.
If you want to complete character sheet, so that you do not need to copy and paste from screen, just hop on over to my Facebook and send me a nice little hello, with the added wish for Etsco. Thank you for sticking with me to the end and if you like Etsco or just want to help out, leave a like and subscribe for more content and guides. You can also leave a comment of what you think about her or how you would use her in your games. Stay safe my friends and we will see each other somewhere in Galarian.